French defense, Tarash, open, delayed exchange variation, 5.ngf3 a 66.b2. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The French defense prepares for d5, but blocks in the light squared bishop in exchange for a strong center and counter attacking chances. d4 grabs full control of the center and opens up the dark squared bishop. d5 is a counter attack in the center that threatens the e4 pawn. And d2 develops the knight and defends the e4 pawn. c5 strikes the d4 pawn, starting active play in the center. x5 opens up the center after black recaptures the d5 pawn, white plans to develop with ngf3 and bd3 or bb5 plus. x5 recaptures the pawn and controls the e4 and c4 squares. ngf3 develops the knight toward the center, defends the d4 pawn and controls the e5 square. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. After all captures, this is an equal trade takes back. This attacks a bishop, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is the last book move. This moves the bishop to safety. It is good. This pins a knight, which restricts its mobility. It is excellent. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is excellent. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures, from a previous move. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This threatens to fork pieces. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is best. This moves the pawn to safety. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is excellent. This doubles the rooks onto a single file, which allows them to team up to create threats. It is excellent. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. Very precise. It is best. The rooks are coordinated and powerfully doubled on the file. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. It is best. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to move a piece to safety. It is a mistake. White had an advantage, but now the game is close to equal. It is an inaccuracy. Recaptures. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. This is the start of the end game and black is equal. It is best. 
this overlooks an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. This allows the opponent to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. It is an inaccuracy. This places a rook on the seventh rank, activating the rook and restricting the opponent's king. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This moves the pawn to safety. It is best. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is excellent. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. Right on target. It is best. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is an inaccuracy. The game is still close to equal, but white lost their advantage. It is an inaccuracy. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This steps away from the checking bishop. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is the strongest option. It is best. This steps away from the checking rook. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This evades the check from the bishop. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This puts the rook behind an opposing passed pawn, which helps counter the pawn's push to promotion. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This overlooks a better way to move a rook to safety. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a mistake. Placing a rook behind an opponent's passed pawn can inhibit the pawn's ability to promote. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This misses an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to win a bishop. It is good. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a bishop. It is a great move. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Placing a rook behind a passed pawn helps keep the pawn protected as it tries to promote. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Right on target. It is best. This moves the rook to safety. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This is a fair move. It is good. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This evades the check from the rook. It is best. This permits the opponent to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. It is an inaccuracy. This allows the opponent to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. It is an inaccuracy. This places a rook on the seventh rank, activating the rook and restricting the opponent's king. It is best. This threatens to reveal a check. It is best. This is the only good move. This stops the opponent from being able to reveal a check. It is a great move. This steps away from the checking rook. It is best. This reveals a check. It is best. This steps away from the checking bishop. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is the strongest option. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best.
This activates the king in the end game by getting it off of the back rank. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is excellent. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This steps away from the checking rook. It is best. Very precise. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. Right on target. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is excellent. This prevents the opponent from being able to create a passed pawn. It is excellent. This threatens to play checkmate. It is excellent. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This steps away from the checking rook. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. That was a free pawn. It is good. This is the strongest option. It is best. Very precise. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This evades the check from the rook. It is best. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. 